Today gamers, we're jumping back into the world of Remnant 2 and what we're going to be covering is the best rings in the game that will make you a true powerhouse and a will of having in most builds. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back everybody, today we're taking a look at Remnant 2 again and we're going to be delving into some of the most powerful and most sought after rings in the game. If you want to do a lot of damage, you want a lot of survivability, or you just want to know which rings are actually worth your time, then this is going to be the guide for you. Originally it was going to be a top 10, but after realising there's over 130 rings in the game, it's now going to be a top 20, and if I've missed any off that you really enjoy using, then let me know in the comments, because there's just so many to choose from. But the first one we're going to be going over is going to be none other than the Stone of Malevolence. This ring is amazing, a lot of you probably already know about it, but now elemental status damage generates 15% additional mod power. In the right builds with the right setup, this can be a complete powerhouse and allow your mods to charge very fast sometimes, so much so that you can use them over and over again. Next up, and one of my personal favourites in a few of my builds, and that's going to be Archer's Crest. Increases projectile speed by 20% and decreases weapon charge time by 25%. Obviously it doesn't work on every single weapon, but it does work on some of the best ones. If I remember correctly, it still works on the seat and on your bows like your Crescent Moon Bow. It's an absolute beast and well worth investing in. Up next, and we have the Bisected Ring. This is very hard to get hold of. It's definitely not something that you'll do straight away, but if you've got the time and the patience, Getting this ring means you're now going to gain infinite stamina, but all damage you receive is increased by 25%, so a double-edged blade. Absolutely amazing for rolling around, but you definitely don't want to get hit with this ring on. Speaking of rolling around, another ring that's amazing for that is going to be your Bright Steel Ring. Gives the wearer the fastest evade, regardless of their armour encumbrance. Meaning, even if you're at 90, 100, if you're ridiculously over-encumbered, you're still able to roll at the fastest evade rate, and can work great in some of those tankier builds. From tanky to at and at devastating, this is going to be Burden of the Destroyer. Decreases your ideal range of your firearms by 25%, but it's going to increase all of your damage dealt by 15%. As long as you're playing close kind of range, or your weapon is ridiculously long range, or if you're just trying a slightly different build, this can be well worth having on, because it gives a massive buff to your damage. From damage over to one of the best shielding generator rings in the game, and that's going to be the rerouting cable. You're going to gain 5% of max health as a shield for 5 seconds after spending 25 stamina. The accumulation resets after 5 seconds of inaction, and you can get up to maximum of 50% shield with this ring. Definitely worth having for anyone who likes to be defensive. Over to very possibly one of the most powerful rings in the game, the Devoured Loop. This one, if I remember correctly, is a returning ring from the original Remnant, and critical hits have a 1% chance to reset skill cooldowns. Only can occur once every 10 seconds, and this ring just having it on does increase your damage taken by 10%. But being able to have those cooldowns ridiculously fast makes this one of the most sought after rings in the game. Over to Hardened Coil, and this ring is amazing for anyone who wants a bit of defense within their build. Reduce all incoming damage by 3% for each 10% of missing health, with maximum being 15% reduction. So at 50% of your life, you're going to receive 15% reduction to incoming damage, making you a lot more survivable. Next up, and we've got the Generating Band. This one is going to regenerate 3% of your max health per second whilst the shield is active. 3% of max health is actually very big in this game. Most of the other things only give you up to probably 2%, so this is one of the strongest health regens in the game. This one probably wouldn't make it into a lot of people's lists, but I absolutely love the Fey Shaman Ring. Increases health regeneration by a very minute amount at 0.25, but it also increases your relic use by 25% speed you don't have to worry about those tricky situations, you're going to be able to use your relic without getting caught out quite as much. Also, even though the other one is only a little bit of health regen, when you're out of combat, it is nice to be able to get your whole health bar back without having to use a relic. Jumping over to the best crit damage ring in the game, and that's going to be the probability called. This straight up, nice and easy, increase your crit damage by 30%. 
If you're going for a crit chance, crit damage build, you're going to want this on your character somewhere, so chuck it on and reap the benefits of that damage fast. Now this one is one I've only recently started using, but the Timekeeper's Jewel is now one of my personal favourites. This is going to increase the duration of status effects applied by the wearer. Times value per status, but what it doesn't tell you is most of them are by 100%, allowing a massive uptime compared to previously. If you had say 10 seconds of bleed damage at 2000, now it's going to double up and you'll have 20 seconds at 4000. Absolutely amazing and perfect in those status builds. Over to Seal of the Empress, if you are someone who wants to be a little bit tankier, you like your survivability, you like having high health, then this ring's going to increase your max health by 20, but does reduce your max stamina by 10. For those up close personal, very tanky builds, this one is great. And even though 20 doesn't sound like much, remember your main core stat is just 100 for your health, so this is actually a 20% increase, which is still very nice in those tough encounters. Over to another great ring, and this one's going to be the Stone of Expanse. This is going to increase your range damage by 12% as standard, but it is going to reduce all the other damage you deal by 6%. If you're, say for example, a Hunter Gunslinger class, or someone that likes using firearms, then this one could be a no-brainer for that great extra damage. Over to the Dram Memento, this one is going to increase max stamina by 20, and even more important, I think in some builds, it's going to reduce your encumbrance by 5. This ring is so good for some situations and can allow for a nice bit of build diversity. Say for example if you wanted to put on the Leto Mark II set, you wanted that very heavy armour but you still wanted to be able to evade, then this ring will sort that out for you nice and easy. Over to another very high damage ring and this one's going to be Xania's Malice. One of the top pick rings for your damage dealers as this one when you're dealing weak spot damage is going to increase your weak spot damage by 10% for 7 seconds and it's going to stack up to 3 times. This one is amazing on boss build or anyone that you'll be focusing on their weak spot in order to dwindle them down fast with that extra damage. For our next ring and we're going to be covering the Sapphire Dreamstone. This one is a great ring for anyone who wants a bit of their skills on cooldown more often as critical hits are going to reduce skill cooldowns by 3%. This can only happen once every 2 seconds, but if you have a higher crit build going on, this ring can honestly make the difference between your skills being up or down very very often. Over to a ring that's perfect for your melee classes, Berserker's Crest is going to increase your melee charge speed by 20% and reduce melee stamina cost by 25%. If you like to swing away, you love using close range combat and you're all about those big old swords and such, then this is the ring for you. Over to the at cast ring, and we've gone from swords now to complete gunplay. If you're someone who does not like the reload times and they're the things that get you in trouble, then this may well be the ring for you. This is going to increase your reload speed by 5% for 15 seconds, but every time you reload this is going to stack up to an amazing 5 times so you'll be able to get 25% reload speed when it's maxed out. If you continually got ammo and you're able to reload very very often, then this is actually going to increase your DPS massively because you won't have as much downtime with your reload animations. Last, but definitely not least, and actually one of the strongest rings in the game within the right builds, and that's going to be this one just here, the Ahane Crystal. Hopefully I'm not mispronouncing that name, but this ring is an absolutely amazing ring for anyone that wants to try a status build, especially if you're using quite a few statuses at once. It's going to deal 5% additional damage for each status effect that the target is suffering from. I've been able to get around about 4 on a target so far. You may well be able to get more, very possibly up to 5, I haven't tried that yet, but even at 4 I believe it makes it the strongest damage dealing ring in the game for how much percentage it gives. 20% is massive and even 5 or 10 if you're just doing 1 or 2 status on an enemy can mean you can dwindle their health very very fast. Definitely worth having in any status build you're putting together as long as the target's going to be affected by multiple. But yeah, they're my top picks, let me know in the comment, I'm sure you all have loads that you're going to say I've missed off, I probably have, but I didn't want to make the video ridiculously long. But as always there'll be a lot more content from me, for now, take care. I'll see you on the next day.